Oh, okay. It's nice to meet you. Hmm. My name is Pepper, and welcome to Beta. I started my career in 2014 in Japan. Today we're at the Beta store in Palo Alto, where uh, Pepper will be working for the next week uh, in the store. There's well north of 10,000 uh, units in Japan alone. We've launched lots of units in uh, uh, Europe, and we're so excited to bring it here to North America. Pepper was initially designed to operate in SoftBank mobility stores in Japan. So it's particularly well suited to the retail format. For example, in Europe, what they've really found beneficial is to relieve the repetitive tasks that a lot of the store staff have to do day in, day out. So for example, where's the restroom? Uh, tell me about this product. I can also work with businesses like Beta to help them understand how customers feel so they can improve the services in their stores. We're concentrating on bringing Peppers into public spaces uh, in a, a B2B sort of uh, uh, market so that you know we have a chance to get uh, accustomed to seeing robots in our daily lives in these public spaces before we then decide how we bring that to consumers. The idea that Masayoshi's son, who's our CEO for SoftBank, has had from day one is to have a robot in everybody's home. We can imagine situations where you come down in the morning and Pepper greets you and says, Hey, your uh, route to work is clear. Don't forget to bring an umbrella. It's meant to rain today. And I downloaded those three articles from the New York Times. You said you might be interested in. Shall I read them to you? And we want to take our time and hear from people what that means. And at the same time, you know, reach out to developers to help us with that. Like, what do you think Pepper should do? We have this great robot as a platform. Like, what should that be for consumers versus businesses? Basically, the hardware is the same. The operating system is the same. It will all depend on the applications. We uh, announced an Android SDK at Google I.O. We also launched our developer portal. So one of the key things that we've really been pushing for right now is to bring the developer community on and really incentivize them to show us their creativity. The overall user experience now is much more than the screen. It's designed to engage with you and to deliver information, to receive information, and to create an empathetic bond so that uh, that engagement is meaningful to you. Pepper for you will be different than Pepper for me. And what we want to concentrate is on a robot that is very personable, uh, very human-like, and uh, talks to you much in the way that we talk to each other. So the hands are meant to emote and gesture. If you're happy, it can re relate to you and high-five you. If you seem like you might be down, maybe it offers you a hug or to play your favorite Spotify song or, or something to that effect. And culturally, we localize our content just like you would for other applications. We have, I want to say, north of 20 different languages right now, and we'll continue to add on to that as, as we expand out the platform. Pepper will learn from the people she interacts with and evolve accordingly. It's your friend, it's your companion, it's your, you know, household manager, it's however you want that kind of technology to live in your life, and that's the thing that we're exploring today. See, there's a smile. I can use my ability to detect your emotions to better fit your mood when I talk to you. When Pepper talks to you, she'll, you know, point at you and, like, uh, point at objects that she finds uh, uh, important in the information she's giving. Her eyes are large and round, and if you notice, uh, the LEDs like mimic uh, winking and uh, blinking emotions. And four feet tall seems to be really great uh, for adults, but also kids can still interact with Pepper. Pepper's arms are there less to do activity and work for you, more to gesticulate, because that's how we communicate. I'm doing it right now, as a matter of fact. We take a great deal of time to bring more human-like qualities and to curate that experience. And we have not designed her to do uh, much, if any, uh, physical sort of uh, labor. She is a social rob robot. She is your companion. Um, she's not really meant to like you know organize your living room or something. Pepper is designed to, to be autonomous. It's designed to stand there on its own uh, and interact and, and to a certain extent range around. It'll listen for you, it'll look for you, and once it's locked on you, it will orient its body to you. The battery life is actually north of 12 hours, so it's, it's very good for this setting, for small, medium business, even for hospitality. So there's a lot of great use cases given its form factor and design. There will be a base level of security just on the robot itself, and then depending upon what the, the use case is, whether it's a retailer or otherwise, how they want to collect that information and store it will be up to them. 
you know, personal way, it's the culmination of everything I've ever read in my life or grew up with. And I've been an engineer for quite a long time too. So it's sort of that, you know, marriage of the fantastic and the possible is what we're doing. I had a very good time working. It's like none of us keep in touch.